Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? We are fine, thank you. And how are you, ma'am? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Virginia Mashani. I'm an educator here at Matkatu Primary School. Let us all stand and start our day with the brain gym. Can one of you come and do the first brain gym? Come. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. I started my lessons with a brain gym. The brain gym helps the learners to stimulate their brains for the day. So the whole day, their brains are going to be sharp. I made a reference to a past lesson because I had to start from the known to the unknown. By the way, what were we talking about yesterday? What were we talking about yesterday? Masati? Yesterday we were talking about adjectives. Very good. Yesterday we were talking about adjectives. Who can tell us what are adjectives? We can tell. An adjective is a word that you used to describe a noun. Very good. Today's lesson was about the adjectives. And then we went furthermore talking about the comparative adjectives and the superlative adjectives. The comparative adjectives is when you compare two things. Two things. For instance, I'm going to give you a sentence. The player is tall. And when we start comparing this player with the second player, what are we going to say? Yes, says it too. Very good. The other player is taller. The first player is tall. Ne? And then the next one, this player is taller. As I proceed with my lesson, I keep on asking the learners whether they understand and I keep on saying one thing time and again so that they understand, they all understand and then I don't want to leave any learner behind. This player is taller than the other player. How many players are we comparing? Everybody? Two players. We are comparing two players. When we do the comparative adjectives, we always add the ER. What do we add? ER. And then what did it become? Everybody? Taller. Taller. Everybody? Taller. Right. Every time when I ask the learners a question, I use the board in order for them to refer even when we are done with the lesson. The adjectives can also be used to compare <coughs> more than two nouns. When we compare more than two nouns, we call them the superlative adjectives. What do we call them? The superlative adjectives. Here we compare two players and then when we add the third player, what are we going to say? Yes, Rogers. We are going to say this the these players, these players is the tallest than them all. Very good. After that, I picked up three learners who were of three different sizes. I did that because with learners, when you teaching the learners, you have to use concrete objects like themselves. If you use them, they will not forget it. Here is Alhana, Hope and Masad. Right, I want us to compare them. I want us to compare them using the adjectives, the comparative adjective and the superlative adjective. Between the three of them, who is big? Between the three of them, who is big? Elhana is big. Do you agree? No. They don't agree. Kotato, who is big here? When the learners are giving answers and they give wrong answers, it's not good for the teacher to say, no, this answer is wrong. Because it demoralizes the child, even the other children in class. They get demoralized and they will not participate anymore. So it's good that when it, the answer is wrong, you ask his or her peers whether is it wrong or right, and then they will say, no, we've got a different view to that one. Kotato, who is big here? Between the three of them, who is big? Matati is big. 
Very good. Masati is big. Masati is big. Everybody? Masati is big. Right. What are we saying about hope now? What are we going to say about hope? What are we going to say? Yes, Zinse? We are going to say hope is bigger. Very good. Hope is bigger than who? Hope. Very good. Hope is bigger than Masati. What are we going to say about Elhana now? What is it that we're going to say about Elhan? Yes, Chuma? Elhana is the biggest of them all. Very good. We are going to say Elhana is the biggest of them all. Right. We all now understand what are adjectives, what are comparative adjectives, and what are superlative adjectives. Is it correct? Yes. Do we all understand? Yes. Is there any question up until this far? We don't have any question. With me here, I've got the flashcard. I'm going to give this flashcard to different groups so that you can pick up the adjectives from these words. They are mixed up. So you're going to pick up the adjectives and put them on the side. Can you do that for me? Yes, ma'am. Right. It is good for a teacher to use group work for the learners because other learners, when you teach them one-on-one, -on -one, like when I'm standing in front of the classroom, they don't understand me. And then they will understand their peers more better than me. So it is good for a teacher to use the group work for the learners. So I use in my lesson, I use the flashcards. In those flashcards, the way the others were the adjectives and the others were not adjectives. So they were supposed to separate the adjectives from the flashcards which are not adjectives. Uh, the advice that I can give to other teachers who are struggling in doing this lesson that I did, they should prepare. Before you go to class, you should prepare your things thoroughly because if you don't prepare, obviously you're going to be found wanting and then you, you won't know what to tell the learners and then you won't succeed in what you're doing. So preparation is the most important thing in a teacher's life.